Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's workout, we're gonna be doing calves and back. Well done for showing up for another day, showing up for yourself, I'm so proud of you. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling, are you aching from yesterday? Without further ado, let's get building, toning, shaping our calves and back. You ready? <laughs> let's get started with a warm up as usual. It's gonna be a pretty calm warm up starting off with some swings, so just swinging from side to side, twisting through the upper body, letting the arms run free, a little bit wild as we ease into today's workout. Awesome, then we're gonna come over the side Stretching through the shoulder, the waist, and over the other way. Taking deep breaths and repeat that on both sides. Awesome. Then we're going to grab one arm and pull it across the chest. Stretching out the triceps, the shoulder. And doing the same on the other arm. Amazing, then we're gonna grab the elbow and just pull it back behind the head reaching the hand as far down the back as you can just loosening up same on the other side Then you want to grab a wall or a surface and just put your foot up against it and push the hips back as you lean in towards the calf, getting a good calf stretch here. So try and get your heel as close to the wall as you can, toes against the wall and just move the hips around as you feel, just stretching the calf and then doing the same on the other leg. Up. Then we're going to do some floor sweeps, alternating from side to side, keeping it moving, reaching down chest towards the knee, getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. And as we do that, I'm going to show us the first movement, starting off with some heel raises. So just coming up onto your tiptoes, keeping good posture, we'll all be doing the same, um, but I'm gonna just tell you different ways that you can adjust the different moves to make them easier or more difficult, but we'll all start doing heel raise together. Ready? And go. It's coming up onto your tiptoes, you wanna keep good posture. Trying to intentionally squeeze the calves as we come up nice and tall. Beginners, you can hold on to something if you'd like to help you keep your balance. And rest, well done. Next, we're gonna do heel raises, but on a single leg. So pretty much doubling the weight that the calf is pushing up there. You could hold on to the wall. Beginners, you can carry on on two feet if you prefer. And go. The key is in the repetition. It's coming up nice and tall, really giving an intentional mind to muscle connection as we do these. 
If you want to make this more difficult, then I recommend not actually letting your heel come all the way to the floor. So just lowering it so that it just hover, hovers above the floor without actually putting it all the way down and getting that weight through the heel. But either way, we're coming up nice and tall. And rest. Then we're going to do the same thing, but on the other leg. Feel free to stretch out the calf in between this if you'd like. And go. Make sure that you have good supportive shoe wear, shoe wear footwear on <laughs> while you're doing this movement, especially if you've got kind of flat feet or any arch problems, you want to make sure you're well supported. And rest. Next move we're going to do is focusing on the rear delts a bit more. So we're doing some reverse flies. So standing up, even though I forgot and went to lie down. <laughs> standing up, you want to push the hips back, keeping a slight bend in the arms and bringing them up. Ready and go. So hips back, weight through the heels, good posture in the back. We're just going to lift the arms up keeping a slight bend at the elbow. Now this movement, you may have done this before uh, with weights, but you actually get still a really good burn just using the weight of your actual arms. Um, and especially when you're doing this many reps. So try not to hunch the shoulders, keep a nice long neck. and rest. Awesome. Then we're going to come down onto the floor and do some snow angels. So lying on our front, we want to lift the upper body up off the floor, up off the mat as we start and go. So upper body raised up off the mat. You want to bring your hands from in front to behind you as though you're making an angel in the snow. Advanced, you can actually squeeze the glutes and lift the legs up off the floor if you want a bit of a challenge. Keep going, intentionally squeezing as you bring the arms back especially. And rest. Next we're going to do some back raises. Again, advanced you can make this more intense by keeping your legs lifted off the floor as we raise the upper body up, pulsing. And go. So just raising up the upper body. Keep the shoulders low, nice long neck, breathing through the movement. Keep going, just a few more. And rest, well done. And we're gonna do some swimmers. Now, I'm not the best swimmer, but I hear this is how you do it. So lying on your front, alternating, lifting, opposite arm and opposite leg. Ready and go. So nice long limbs, chest lifted. We're just gonna flutter through, reaching the hands out in front. Again, shoulders low, neck long.
keep going just a few more you're doing really well this is where you might start to feel the burn a bit and rest well done then we'll do some back circles so imagining like you've got a paintbrush kind of sticking out the top of your head and we're just going to draw some nice circles you can stretch the lower back in between these exercises by the way and go so you're trying to draw a circle with the paintbrush that's kind of pointing from the top of your head so drawing a circle going in the same direction make a note of which direction you're going in as you move the upper body in that direction lifting it up off the floor controlling it back down again advanced you can lift the legs up off the floor to make it more intense to get that glute squeeze keep going you're doing really well and rest well done bringing the hips back towards the feet you can stretch out the lower back before we go in on the other side which is why I said to make a note of the direction that you first went in go bringing the chest up off the mat up off the floor drawing those circles breathing through it doing really well keep going try and keep it moving and rest well done Next we're going to do some flutter wings. So imagine you're like some kind of bird, I don't know what species flies like this, some weird superman bird, but you're just kind of fluttering the arms behind you, bringing them in close to the body as the chest is lifted, and go, chest up off the floor, low shoulders, long neck, and we're just squeezing the arms in behind, really squeezing the shoulder blades together as we flutter those arms. Again, advanced, you can just bring those legs up off the floor as well. Keep squeezing, keep pushing, get the arms as close together as you can, as you flutter through, squeezing the muscles of the upper back. And rest, awesome. Then we're gonna go back to the heel raises. So give, give the floor a little break. We're back up on our feet doing some heel raises. And go. Coming all the way up, good posture. Intentionally squeezing the muscles of the calf, mind to muscle connection, it matters and it makes a difference. And rest. Well done, then we're coming on to single leg heel raise. So you can hold on to a wall for support, advanced if you want to try, just develop your balance. Um, you can leave the wall and just do them freestanding. Beginners, feel free to stay on the double leg raise. Go. So just adding a little bit more resistance now with the one leg carrying the whole weight of the body as so we really push almost think as though you're trying to push the ground down beneath you so trying to push the ground down 
that you stand on. So we come up nice and tall, making them nice and powerful. These are powerful, not passive. And rest. Well done. And stretch out the calf because we're coming back in on the other side. And go. Coming all the way up. Keeping good posture, keep going. I know it burns a bit, but you can totally do this. You've made it to day 10. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You're doing so well, nearly there. And rest. Awesome. And we're going to do some more reverse flies. So standing, hips back, good posture in the upper body, bring those arms up and out to the side. And go. So keeping a slight bend at the elbow, weight through the heels, you should be able to wiggle your toe intentionally squeezing the shoulder blades together. Shoulders are down, and by down, I mean away from the ears. Neck is nice and long. Feeling the weight of the arms, bringing them up nice and high, not getting lazy with it. You're doing so well. And rest. Well done. Awesome. Then we're going to come onto the floor and do some back raises. And go. Bringing the chest up nice and high. Keep going. And relax. Stretch it out before we come back in with more snow angels. And go, chest up, neck long, bringing the arms, stretching them out in front and then stretching them round to the side and squeezing the shoulder blades together as they come down beside the thighs. Getting in a good arm workout with this one as well. and rest. Awesome, then we're gonna do some swimmers. So alternating arms and legs. Stretch out the lower back if you need to. And go. So opposite arm to opposite leg. Chest is lifted long limbs being as tall as possible. If you want to make this harder, don't put any of the limbs down, just move them at a slight angle but keep them raised. So the arms and legs shouldn't actually fall down onto them. 
onto the mat or onto the floor. So keep going, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Nearly there, just a few more. And relax. Awesome. And we'll come back in with those weird head paint brushes and paint some circles. We're gonna have a masterpiece by the time this workout is done. And go. Chest lifted, neck long. Painting those circles, bring it around town. Try and exaggerate the size of the circle. Try and control the movement. So we're not just falling back down like worn out. No, we're controlling the movement. We're strong, we can do this. Keep going. and rest bring the hips back towards the feet stretch the arms out in front as we stretch the lower back you can wiggle the hips side to side before we come back and go in the opposite direction ready go you can do it You're capable of pushing through. You might need to slow down, but try not to stop. You're doing so, so well. and rest well done and we're finishing off with one last move the flutter wings are you feeling it can you feel your back muscles i hope so and go chest up squeezing the shoulder blades together a nice straight arm as we press the arms in towards the body. Well done, you did not come this far to give up here, nearly there. Keep going. and rest well done you did it you've completed day 10 i'm so proud of you absolutely smashing it i will see you back here same place same time tomorrow bye